about something that's kind of like similar to the other things that we talk about. But it is it is all repetition in the end of the day because it all leads back to the same thing. All right. So, you know, it's not about coming up with new thing, coming up with new things all the time, because simply because repetition got us into the trap and repetition another way can get us out of the trap as well. If if we're interested in it. All right. So. Um, so I was just in. Uh, walking around this um, complex, shopping complex, and uh, this this um, insight just comes straight into me, and, and that is is that you, I look around at everyone, the faces and stuff, and I observe myself and walking around and stuff, and this um, the idea of it's just a worry planet, planet worry, you know. And by design, it's not by accident. It's not by, oh, this is going, you know, like, oh, people are deciding to worry. We're unconscious, like I said. Unless we start bringing things up to the surface so we can look at them, not try and get rid of them, because you can't get rid of them, right? Bring it up to the surface to look at it, then it can dissolve on its own, right? But another idea with it is that, like, everything is just a constant worry, so I'm walking around in the complex, and it's Christmas, you know, it's the 5th of December today, you know, and you see all the, all the Christmas nonsense, all the, you know, all the uh, consumerism, all the people flying around, uh, not conscious of what they're doing. They're not even conscious of this, okay, and that they don't want to do it. Their face tells you that they don't want to do it. Now, that's not to say that, like, you know, that there's not some sort of joy in giving to other people and stuff like that. And, you know, because they mix lies with the truth as well to try and, you know, some people are perfectly happy at Christmas buying presents for everyone and they get great thrill out of it and it's enjoying enjoyment and all the rest of it. That's fine, right? But this mass consumerism of Christmas, you know, the best thing you can give anybody as well is is a hard time, Okay. Now, this is off the cuff on free flow. That just came out of my mouth without me even thinking about it, right? So that's what is important about the truth. It just comes out. The best thing you can give anyone is a hard time, in line with truth, in line with what they need, all right? Giving them presents, giving them what they want all the time, they despise you, they hate you internally because we need to have a hard time, because we need to get out of this trap that we're so convinced that we're not in. That's part of the trap. That's part of the tentacles that are wrapped around us. Oh, I'm perfectly fine. You know, I have no worries, no this, no that. Everything's going great for me. You know, I don't worry about the future. I don't worry about where am I going to be when I'm older. All these things run through us like an electrical system all the time, like a grid. Okay, so, and like I said, you know, it's a worry planet by design. It's not an accident. They know exactly how dumb we are. They know exactly what but, what buttons to push. Pretty much like a woman who knows what buttons to push with a man to try and get him off his center. You know, these women are trash. I've known a few of these women and they're everywhere, you know, because the corporatized world plays, and the devil, same thing, plays to th this type of um, woman, you know. But the worry planet idea is very, 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 very right in your face once you see it. Now, how I seen it was because I caught myself worrying about something. I can't even remember what it was now, but it was worrying about um, the future. You know, what am I going to do in the future? Am I going to buy a bit of property? Am I going to do this? And I'm going to do that. So I caught it. That's what you've got to do. As Vernon Howard says, you've got to catch the devil behind the 10th tree. That's a very important statement, Right. You've got to catch the devil behind the tenth tree. Because if he gets too close to you, you're not going to be able to see him. And you're not going to be able to do anything about it. All right? So you've got to practice this idea of awareness. So we can catch the devil behind the tenth tree. That means that we're starting to catch it early. Starting to catch things early in our system. Right? So... So worry planet, yeah, we're worrying about this, worried what we look like, worried if we get the, the, someone that we claim to care for, the right present, 
uh, all this stuff unknowns to ourselves is all a torture. We just it's like Jesus, man, just leave me the fuck alone, will you? I don't want you know, just leave me the fuck alone. And but we're doing it to ourselves. They're doing it to us, of course. You know these these devils in the commercial corporate sanitized world. You know, you know all these sane people are you know trying to help us along, trying to you know do what's best for us because we don't know what to do, right? People don't know what to do, man. It's sad. You know, we're walking around. We haven't got our own, you know, vibration, our own individual vibration, which, which, which is what we need. It's been taken. We've allowed it to be taken away from us. So these people, these commercial corporate cocksuckers, you know, are just trying to help us out, you know, and bless their little hearts, you know, trying to help us out. But anyway, it is a worry planet. But you can get out of that. It's the same thing as the other things that I talk about. But we can get out of it if we start uh, making things simpler for ourselves and stop worrying about whatever. You know, like if, if you're worried about where you're going to stay when you're older, buy a van or something and stay in that. You won't have any fucking postman knocking on the door. You won't have any fucking electric bill. You won't have any fucking uh, l disgusting, filthy, tyrannical uh, landlord coming around telling you that the prices have gone up because some of the man told him that they went up because he's got no brain of his own. You know, so fly around in a van and sleep and, and pull, get a, pull out bed or something. You know, at least you, you wouldn't be worrying every fucking day and you can get down to real business w with what we should be doing. Real business, like developing, you know, Trying to trying to get ourselves out of the way, you know, you know what I mean. Why do they call Why do they call presence present? Because it's the present moment. That's the only present you can give to anybody. You can give people a hard time to try and break through their fucking hardened shell. That's the best present you can give anyone if it's done in that for that reason. You know, but seeing all the the herds of sheep flying around trying to uh, buy happiness for themselves and buy happiness for other people, you know. Uh, it's a weird sight. You know. Just relax. Calm down. Sit down somewhere. Chill out. And unhook yourself from this fucking worry planet of nonsense. You know. No one's getting out of here alive anyway for a start. Okay, no one's getting out of here alive. Doesn't matter. We're worried about what, dude? What? That one day we're not going to get what we need? Yeah, that's going to happen regardless. Okay? So chill out. And whatever. Adios.